Okay, so we wrapped up a successful first Supercross season. Uh, we had a bunch of fun at going to the races and finished P10 overall somehow after missing that first round. But we had a ball, it was good, but then it sort of was like, you know, what's next? The question comes up. Um, I started getting ready, trying to get all sponsors and stuff in place, and I'm still working on that right now, trying to get everything sorted, negotiations with everyone. I want to keep a lot of the same program going um, for next year, but obviously that stuff takes time. So in the meantime, I want to keep it moving, keep rolling. Uh, we got some awesome off-season races come up. So just picking up my bags right now. Um, and we are in Manila, uh, Philippines right now. So I just landed, ready to go the next two weekends racing here. And then we've got some stuff coming up in India as well. Potential to go race in China. So a heap of off-season racing, uh, which will be awesome. I'm stoked to keep it moving. It's a way to, for me to keep training without putting hours on my own bike um, is honestly one of the big things of it. Plus, there's a bunch of awesome people here that I've met over the years. So excited to see everyone again, check out the new tracks. I haven't rode these ones yet. I actually haven't raced in Manila before. I usually race in a different province. So this one's gonna be pretty exciting. The tracks look like they're way more hard pack. Um, they're calling them a little bit more super crossy style. So like there's a bunch more jumps and stuff on them, but it's nothing steep, nothing gnarly. Just, um, yeah, just some pretty jumpy hard pack berms by the looks of it. But we'll go, we'll check it out. I think today's Thursday, um, it's nighttime now, so We'll probably tomorrow get a chance to go see the track and check it out. I might go for a run or something in the heat, try to acclimate myself. As soon as you hop off that plane, you feel the humidity straight away. So, um, yeah, we're going to get to the hotel and see you soon. Time for a little bit of breakfast. What have we got? Bacon, sausages, eggs, bananas. Day one here in the Philippines. Uh, we just, pretty slow morning, a little bit of a stretch, hung out, and we just drove to the track. Uh, it was a couple of hours from where we were and arrived. And this is the prep track that we have for the weekend, apparently. Um, there won't be, so this is more like a local style race. Apparently, there won't be a ton of water or anything, and it's just concrete, slippery, hard pack jumps. There's not a single like rut or bump on the track. Um, but it should be cool to get out there and just have a bit of play. It's gonna be hard to race on. Like if you have to make a pass on this track, I think it's gonna be pretty gnarly. So I might go practice some starts, I reckon. <laughs> But I don't have a GoPro mount for this helmet, so I'm about to go out for the first ride. You guys won't see it, but I'm going to hit one of these boys up to jump on a camera later on. But I'm um, going to go out and play in the dust. I'm actually super nervous to ride it because it looks so fast, but like so hard pack and slippery. So we'll go test and get her a bit better. races that I do uh, is pretty epic it's an awesome experience but when you get the good experiences you also get the not so good experiences so some of the places we go race um, this is the full experience that we've got right here this hotel room is pretty remote area where we are right now um, so this is the hotel we've got and this is my bed I've got a single pillow that is super thin and basically useless I've got this bed here with the sheet over the mattress um, but there's no blanket or other sheet. I've got, for some reason, I've got these two extra beds with nothing on them. Um, I've got a TV there that doesn't work. Come into the bathroom, we've got bin, bucket for some reason. This thing, I think, which is in the sink, um, is meant to flush the toilet. 
this, I don't know what that is on the shower head. Um, and also there's no Wi-Fi or internet service here. So there is a Wi-Fi peso machine though, which is the first time I've seen that. Went down there before and you actually put coins into it and then you connect to your Wi-Fi. So, but then I went up to the room and it doesn't actually work in the room. So you've got to sit down next to the box down there. Um, and so I did that, I downloaded an audio book to give me something to listen to here. So I'm about to go jump in the shower um, and just get go to bed, listen to my audio book, get ready for tomorrow, 250 class tomorrow. I enjoyed the track today. We'll try to get um, some footage and stuff and yeah, we'll get through this weekend. And uh, like, I'm here for dirt bikes. I'm not here for the hotel room. So let's, um, let's get some good training in. Just get better. And that stinks. Saturday race day, just got to the track. That's the bike I'm gonna be racing today, the blue one. Boys are getting the 4.50 ready for tomorrow. A uh, bit of a laid back schedule, so it's, uh, it's like 9.30. And I'm not in my gear or anything yet. I don't actually know what's happening when we're riding or anything like that. Don't really know what's happening, but just sitting down. Um, they bring breakfast and stuff. They make it up the track here, so gonna have some brekkie and probably have a little stretch gear up and get into it what are you watching there dude i'm ready to go out now moto one uh 250 class today so i got about three or four laps warm up track is fully baked again hard pack slippery uh, it's a peg draw, so I'm hoping I get towards the inside because all the gates over here are set up so that inside gate, you can sort of push everyone wide. Um, if not, I'll just have to execute the start and do my best, but um, yeah, we'll go out and have some fun. It's hard to make up time. Like uh, I was pushing, I was I was trying to find where I can gap him. Gap him? But but it, just, just yeah, just, just a fraction. That's what I'm telling him. Yeah. You you have to do it like, you know where you're giving advantage. Okay. Point two, point two, point two, point two. Oh really? Because everybody can go. To try to land the down ramp for that table top too. Not like this. If you come a little bit short or a little bit long, you lose that little bit of momentum. It's all these tiny little things that make such a difference. Alright, so Moto 1, um, got off to a decent start, wasn't ideal. I got to the gate a little bit late, so I was sort of a little bit rushed, it just wasn't quite set up when the gate dropped. Um, but heading out for Moto 2 now, I still got the win Moto 1, I just didn't quite uh, yeah, piece it together exactly how I wanted to, so I want to try to um, get a little bit more of a gap this time, it just, really, you got to find these one percenters all the way around the track because there's not much to separate. Um, but keen to get out there, I, it's super weird talk right now, I've got earplugs in for the first time, but this 250, they got cutouts in the air box and it's just my ears were ringing the other day, so I'm going to head out there now and give it another go. Two, 4.50 today, they got this thing looking pretty sweet, like a retro kit on it. Looks cool, the track has had very little water again, so it's super slippery and dry. Um, we played a little bit around with some um, start blocks and the hole shot button, so hopefully that'll be a little bit better for today. And the goal is two hole shots because I don't want to be covered in dust, but let's get it. Hello. 
out the drop. was a bit wild. Uh, I got off this better start than yesterday, but still not nailing my starts. So I gotta figure it out. I really want a whole shot this next one. Um, but I come out second behind Bornock. He's like the Filipino champ. He's like, he rides these tracks really good. Uh, it took me probably four or five laps to figure out a way to get past him. I sort of got underneath him and I wanted to break away. So I started charging pretty hard and I just charged into one of these slippery turns way too much, jumped the berm. Uh, after I jumped the berm, I sort of got back on. I thought the race was done, but I was like, I'll just give it a crack. Caught him fairly quickly. Um, got on the back of him, made the exact same move to get past him, but he was a bit smarter in the next turn then and just come up the inside, but I don't think he anticipated how much he was going to slide. We actually come together, we both went down. Um, so then, like, as I was picking my bike up, I could see that my rear wheel was close to his bike, so I sort of just, like, wheeled the bike back a little bit, so um, to make sure that, like, I was going to get up in front. Uh, and yeah, we made that happen. That was on the last lap. So we got the win again. So that's three from three so far. We're hoping to go out now and make it four from four. Just about to get geared up for the next moto. Um, and yeah, just hopefully this is a nice, nice clean one. I've got the fresh jersey. I've got one tear off. So there's no excuses. I'm just going to go win this one.